This uh, is part 14 of the modding tutorial series, and in this part I'm going to showcase uh, how to port a mod to iOS. So, this is a video version of a text tutorial by Heroic, and it's actually quite simple. So, you'll want to grab all of the modified files from your mod and then paste them inside a zip folder. Then rename that zip folder to balancing.data. Now open the base IPA in 7-zip. Navigate to payload, gold.app, and data, then resources. And now we're going to take our balancing.data file and drag it into here. And that's it. So we are now done. <laughs> Unless you have custom packaging. Uh, in which case, hey, yes, uh, so you're going to want to head back a little bit to, to the gold.app folder. And now we're going to open info dot list and open and it's uh, in the notepad. Now we're going to search for CF bundle identifier. And we're going to change this to com.rovio.gold.patch because uh, Heroic was in charge of releasing Ultimate's earlier versions on iOS, so the custom packaging name had already been pre-decided for iOS. As for changing the name of the app, And we're going to go to EF Bundle Display Name and change it to Epic Ultimate. Now, when saving this, this is very important and that you make sure it saves as info.plist with a capital I. In this case, for some reason, I'm saving it added a .txt on the end, so we're just going to remove that. And now we drag it in. And now what? That's it. Now, if you want to edit the assets, and you're going to go into the data folder. And there's this file here called resources.assets. This contains all of the randomly numbered files that you will typically find within the APK. Hey, if you're referring to the how to edit the OBD tutorial. So. I'm just assuming here, since this is my first time doing this while filming this tutorial, but based on what Heroic explained to me, and we should just be able to head on over to our folder, open resources.assets, and then this singular file contains 
everything. None of these say texture. wasn't looking hard enough, never mind. This file is so massive it's just a maze to navigate. On with the tutorial, I guess. This, this thing needs a search bar. This file is so big I can't find specific things. Like, massive walls of text like this are my weakness. just gonna select key artwork underscore spring as an example. And then from this point forth the tutorial is literally just copy the knowledge you learned from the Android version. assets into here, and hopefully it should work, I don't know, this is my first time doing this with iOS, but this is what Heroic told me. And uh, I would demonstrate footage of testing this, but I do not own an Apple device and therefore cannot test this, so I'm just blindly guessing that what I did worked, and according to Heroic, this did in fact work. Be right back, I'll just have him test it. Okay, Heroic got back to me, and turns out there's actually a search bar right here in the Asset Bundle Extractor. Also, oh, don't rename what it saves the file as. That's what I learned here. As here, for example, I'm gonna do this again with key artwork winter. And I'm just gonna go with whatever it chooses to save the file as, which is shared asset zero.
And then we're going to open the IPA. And then go into the data folder. And we're going to drag our new shared asset zero into the IPA. And we're also going to fix the resources on assets from what I did earlier. send this to Heroic for testing. Never mind, Heroic just can um, by fixing it himself using the exact same method I just demonstrated, that it does in fact work. So, looks like that's gonna do it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!